A Potterville's football team scored its most points in a game this past Thursday since 1988, so it's easy to see why there are six sports team of the week. Their 60 to 8 win over Genesee was the first varsity win of the season, and our Ian Crest shares how hope is alive in Peeville. Two claps and a flare. Woo! Get water. This season, Potterville is playing a hybrid varsity and junior varsity schedule due to a lack of experience and the number of players they have. We have 10 sophomores, 10 freshmen, one senior, and just a handful of juniors. First year head coach Jason Baker took over in March and was quick to put a lot more focus on off-season conditioning. This year conditioning wise, geez, we've done way more. Probably way more than I've ever done in any sport actually. We're working hard, conditioning, running a lot. We're got to be able to play four quarters Ironman football. Potterville more than tripled the number of players they had come out for off-season workouts this year, and it just goes to show you how badly these players want to get back to the playoffs. Go, set, go! The boys just really wanted to change, and they wanted something different, and we're trying to teach them, you know, the, the football can be something they're proud of in Potterville and, and change the whole culture of the community. The Vikings rushed for 328 yards in the win over Genesee, and a lot of those yards came from sophomore Keegan Bennett, who now has to miss the remainder of the season. Over the weekend, he fractured the vertebrae in his lower back when working on his family's farm. He was our team captain. He was the first one named captain. He kind of led the charge getting the boys out here to workouts. It didn't really hit me until I showed up here and they were walking up to practice. He's a great kid and good player, uh, but you know it's going to help us be a better team two, three years down the road because we have to have other people do the job that he did. In Potterville, Ian Cress, Six Sports.